That's what I call a climax. How you feel? Yummy. Yummy? Why don't you call Keystone Pictures about that internship? Not today, baby. Right. Well, I do today, but you can put off till tomorrow. Well, you're not just gonna lie in bed all day, are you? Honey, don't start. Don't worry, I won't. You know, my friend went out of her way to set that up for you, Will. She did it because I asked her to. I never asked you to ask her. You can't even make a phone call. Alex, you're starting. Why are you getting dressed? I'm going to do a reading with Ted. Ted? Ted Molesworth? That guy who looks like Keanu Reeves? And acts like... He acts like Keanu Reeves. He played Hamlet. I was there, remember? The only thing tragic about that production was his performance. Well, he's directing now. Great. That can actor is going to direct. At least he's making an effort. Hey, I'll call. Call? Don't call. I don't care. Waste the day with your empty-headed disciples, Yoda. What is this, Nightmare on Elm Street? My girlfriend's turned into my mom? It's not Yoda, it's Kenobi, all right? Dun, dun. Hey, hey, what's up, gorgeous? Mm -hmm. oh. Ooh, la femme fatale. Yeah, more cute. By the way, Chris, the vet told me to tell you to drop dead. You just can't stop thinking about me, can't you? <laughs> What is this? The halfway house for the motivationally challenged? We've come to learn the rules. Of course. I am more except for a grocery clerk to collect the bill. Speaking of groceries, where are the Doritos? Who ate them, John? You're like a plague of locusts. Next time God wants to punish Egypt, to send you. You know, everyone warned me I was wasting my time. Well, I'm not going to sit here and watch you float through life as one of the three stooges. I said I called, didn't I? It's not just about the internship, Will. It's about you. What happened to you? You used to be so passionate about film, like I am about acting. And now all you do is get stoned and watch gargoyles. You don't even write anymore. You just download pornography off the internet. You are graduating next semester, and then what are you going to do? Oh, well, maybe we'll start a band or something. Yeah. Well, we don't have to learn to play instruments first. Yeah. Look, if you want to Lord of the Apes for the rest of your life, that's fine. But I'm done playing Jane. I'm going. Fine, go. Don't keep Teddy waiting. Hey, Princess, are you going to read for that part, or are you just going to uh, screw him for it? Did we come at a bad time? getting stoned. <laughs> that, that was a real intense scene with you and Alex. Dramatic. You know, like when Patricia Arquette off that guy with a shotgun in True Romance? It had a lot of drama, you know? It's like, it's just really dramatic. Very cinema, very tight. Yeah, it was like one of those 20-something slacker flicks, like, Reality Bites or Mall Rats, you know? You know, this is where your typical Hollywood establishment studio flick, she'd come back. And they'd live happily ever after. Uh, I don't know, this whole thing's got a very independent feel to it. Yeah. It's like being at the Sundance Film Festival. Yeah. Hey, what if she comes back and then they end up killing each other? That would be a foreign film. 
Yeah. All right, Cisco, and we're back in this club. Repo Man. Mm. Sex and Death. Yeah. Raging Blowjobs, directed by Martin Scorsese. Godzilla vs. the Smog Last. No, no, no. Alfred Big Cock presents. Rear Entry. Yes. Oh. Uh, winner. Best picture. So, what'd you guys fight about this time? I'm not motivated enough for her. Oh. Her dad was telling me that when I was over there, and I think she caught on. Well, folks tell me that all the time. Tricks not to listen. Once, my father asked me how come I couldn't be more motivated like Montgomery Cliff in Red River. He said, look how motivated Cliff is to get the cattle to Abilene. Why can't you be more like that? I said, maybe if you're more like John Wayne, I'd be more like Montgomery Cliff. <laughs> okay. What? What's this? Oh man, we were recorded. We must have recorded over that movie. Leave it on. Hey, is she gonna get naked in this man? Dude. My bounty is as boundless as the sea. My love is deep. The more I give to thee, the more I have. For both are infinite. My tongue will tell the anger of my heart, or else my heart, concealing it, will break. And rather than it shall, I will be free. Even to the uttermost, as I plead in words. <laughs> hey. <laughs> this little baby. <laughs> Babe. If someone were to make a film based on your life, who would you want to play you? James Dean and Bruce Lee are both dead. John Holmes. <laughs> oh. Oh, he's dead too. Make a porno. I don't want to make a short film. <sighs> <laughs> when did you decide you wanted to be a filmmaker? <sighs> when I saw Star Wars for the first time, I was six. Remember that scene when they're escaping from the Death Star and those little TIE fighters are attacking the Millennium Falcon? I realized that anything I could think of was possible at the movies. You know, it sounds cheesy, but anything that I could imagine could be real, you know? That's when I knew what I wanted to be. A Jedi Knight. Right, Yoda? What? No! Oh, yeah. oh. Don't act so surprised, Your Highness. Oh, mm -hmm. Get off me. Take that. How old was Lucas when he made Star Wars? Uh, 33, I think. Wells was 26 when he made Citizen Kane. Yeah, and he ended up peddling Paul Maison on TV. <laughs> Poor bastard. We will sell no wine before his time. Exactly. Life's so absurd, what's the point? Point is, did you live an interesting life? Enough to base a movie on? What do you guys think? I'd... I sit around here, I get stoned, I watch the tube. I'm graduating from college next month. I don't know what I'm gonna do. You know, I feel like Woody Allen in Sleeper. I fall asleep. When I wake up, life's passed me by. I get in a fight with Diane Keaton, she leaves. What's next? Roll credits? Guys, sometimes I feel like Marilyn Monroe and gentlemen prefer blondes. This whole thing's getting way too postmodern, guys. You know, this film is one of the two things in my life that ever inspired me. Yeah? What was the other?
How was your read? Molesworth's a worse director than he is an actor. It's hard to believe. I just came by to get my things. I'll just be a minute. Cleaned up. <laughs> Can see the carpet now, huh? I forgot what color it was. I've never seen this place so clean. It's just your typical boy meets girl, boy loses girl. I'm... I'm sorry. I shouldn't have said those things. No, 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 no. You were right to say those things. I mean, I... I forgot what was important to me, and you reminded me. Does this hurt? I'm all right. Do you still have the number for the internship? Hi, is Miss Bernardino there? Yeah, I'll hold. So, Kenobi, how does your story end?